Yo, camper. this camper looks awesome. Just excuse the window. What the frick? Excuse the window. How are some technical difficulties? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Basham family. All right, you guys, let's address the elephant in the room. Hey, talking about me like that's not nice. Not you. <laughs> Where the frick is the wall? It's over there. So, guys, we have a little bit of an update that we did not want to make, and a little bit of an update that I'm actually really upset about. I'm yeah. crying and really upset. Gabe doesn't really care. I don't really care, to be honest. I kind of put my whole heart... Ow! You stepped on a nail? Guys! Well, <laughs> I put my whole heart into this. I was really excited about it. I dreamed about it. I know. I created all these memories that I thought were going to be in it. Like, I'm about to start crying. Um, But, guys, I don't think we're going to continue with the camper renovations. Guys, with that being said, I know this is kind of tough. A lot of you guys were excited about the camper renovations. Guys, a lot of y'all were commenting in the comments saying, guys, y'all think y'all might not know how much work this is. I've done these before. That is way more than you're wanting to get yourself into. And me and Drew were like, no, we got this. We got this. But well, now we've kind of, we didn't know how bad it was. Long story, let's go back. So Gabe's Papa lived in this for what, like seven years? Mm, like four. Four years. And then a tree fell on it and he fixed the repairs, but he didn't fix like... So basically the tree fell on it and he fixed the leaks. So there's no more leaks, but he fixed that. But the stuff, the damage that came along with it was never fixed. And then it sat for like another four years, right? Yep, no, four and years so it's been that. sitting here for four years with the damages. And so think about all that water and all the damage just like creating issues and creating mold. And as time goes on, it spreads. And, and yeah. from the outside looking in, he did not know. So he did not just gift us something that what he thought would be a lot of work. Like Dave Popple had no idea. We had no idea. I mean, you you guys were commenting and i just want to know like we took every single comment that you gave us to heart we, we were did. thankful for it i mean y'all replied sometimes and said oh it's not that bad it's not really what we thought because we didn't think that it was what it was i kind of somewhat thought it was a lot but... but i was so excited and i was so hopeful that i was like no it's that one corner we're fine well the more we started ripping out the more we started doing the more we realized it was every single slide so every single slide out that was out for the last four years have There's just rotten. been rotten the whole Slide. And the, the ceiling, the walls, the floor, all of it. To the point to where when we barely moved the slide out, it fell. Like it literally fell off. So that's not going to be able to be camperable. That's not something that we want to be in with our dogs, with family, with friends. Um, now we could continue on. There is there is things we could do as far as putting, building, rebuilding a whole new slide, rebuilding this slide, rebuilding that slide. But my only thing is, we don't really know, and I'm pretty sure the wood above us is rotten, especially over there where those watermarks are. Yeah. That wall where you guys are at right over there is rotten. I think it is just a lot more money, time, and energy than we're wanting to spend on and this Gabe's project. And Paul, like I said, he would have never like given us something no. if he knew that that was like the exactly. case. And so, as much as we're sad, he's sad because he was really excited to like watch us redo it. And I'm absolutely heartbroken. And I know that a bunch of people are gonna be laughing at me and be like, "I told you so." But I was, I was really, really, really excited, and I created so many like ideas of what it was gonna be, and like, you know. But, guys, coming soon, we've got more stuff in the works. I know a lot of you guys were really excited about seeing a renovation on this camper. Guys, we may still do a camper renovation. It just might not be this camper. Or we might do a renovation on a single-wide mobile home. Me and Drew have got a lot of things in the works because we still want a place um, that we could either bring out to my parents' property at the lake and drop off to have or for have a lake house. Out here with or have parents, somewhere out here for so. her parents. Like, we could be out here with them. Uh, like on the weekends and on holidays. Since renovating this camper, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I wanted to. I honestly wanted to live here. Like we kind of talked about it a little bit. We kind of been here and there, like thinking about moving up to the lake or moving down here to the country. We've been having so many like ideas, and we just bought our home, so we're not like getting rid of that. But like just being here and renovating, I've really grown to love this area. I actually did live here whenever I was younger. But, like, I didn't really remember anything of it. And then when we stayed most of our time in the summer up in Rayburn, I really loved it there as well. So we've been kind of, like, throwing ideas out. Like, what if we move to the 
lake? What if we move here? What if we stay? Like, or what if we just have a little lake house over there or a little um, mobile home over here to come spend on the weekends? So we're kind of like having all these ideas and all these different things. Like, we're conflicted. We're conflicted. Like, do we want to have like a little country home to come visit to you and still live in the city? Do we want to go and have a camper at the lake and live at the lake or stay at the lake on the weekends? Like, we're kind of like up in the air. Like, we never would have thought that we would want that. I never thought I would want to live in a camper, but I absolutely love this camper. Like, I have a tie to it. I don't know why. Like, I just love it. Gabe could care less. Um, Screw this camper, man. I'm, Get it out of here. I'm like... It's a money pit. I'm excited, and I was so, like... I'm genuinely super sad, so... I don't well, know. Okay, in my honest opinion, though, the way I'm looking at it is, for the amount of money it's going to cost us to redo that slide, redo that slide, redo that slide, rip out all the ceiling, replace it, the flooring, replace it, renovate, all that... We could literally go buy a a whole, a, another camper that's used in much better shape that's not molded and just repaint it and do that. Right, and so it's not, and so, I know that, I mean, I don't want to like spend a ton of money on something that obviously could, one, make us sick, yeah. two, is just a lot of work, but I'm still just sad, but I know that there's something else out there, so whether that be a mobile home that we redo up here or at the lake house, or that be a camper that we redo here or at the lake, or whether, I don't know what it might bring, I don't know, after doing this, I'm really interested in campers and camping, I don't know what's wrong with me, um, but I love that, and I want to keep doing it so we might be on the lookout for another camper if you guys have any tips and tricks or any brands that you recommend let us know but the barbie camper is not it's away. not dead it is not dead it's still here we're going to try to find a different park so a different barbie camper we're going to call it the kin camper okay. yeah barbie camper failed or this will be the kin camper and the kin camper failed so now we're going to get the barbie camper yeah i'm so sad because i'm just kin anywhere else <laughs> it's okay Anyways, now that that is on the floor now we have to figure out how to put it back on so we can close these out and figure out where we're going to put this camper because we had to be we didn't we couldn't move it because gabe's truck isn't able to move it so now we have to figure out what we're going to do with it now to that get it's it out of here to get it out of here so one last look we had the pink i had just started on the second coat of these two doors thank god i did not do the second coat on all this stuff today like oh, i was man. so close like i was uh i have to do the second coat over here and then i'm glad i didn't even start doing anything back here oh i did the two coats on these two as well but yeah guys this is an end of an era a very short era and i'm very very sad about it um, Can I, I know. be honest? I'm kind of relieved. I'm not. I was so excited. <laughs> and I know everyone's going to say, I freaking told you so. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear I it. I don't. If you say it, I'm blocking you. because Dang. I don't want to hear it. I was excited. Yeah, you and you know, and you. you know when you're excited about something and you have so many negatives and you like, you kind of know like they're saying is like kind of true. If you're like, <laughs> shut up. You don't know. Well, that's what happened. But guess what? what? We could just lie and say something else but no we're telling the truth true that's true so anyways bye camper bye dreams of having the barbie camper um hopefully part two will come maybe one day maybe one day all right guys see you later thank you guys so much for watching this video if you're not already follow us on facebook follow us on youtube follow us on instagram we appreciate you guys see you guys on the next one peace out